Hit it! You cannot smell it, it's electric. Definitely can't smell it, it's electric. Fell down the well and it wasn't that bad and I didn't my dad to who's come to book it? Next. No worries. I recorded it all on cassette for your listening pleasure. What? Who cares? Next. <clears throat> Hello? Ah, Steve, what are you doing here? Ahem, <clears throat> I am no longer Steve. Henceforth, I am Steve-O the Great. Actually, that name is taken, so I am Steven the Slightly Above Average. Steven the Below Average. Steven the Inconsequential. Ah, oh, never mind, I'm just Steve. But for my talent, I am gonna make myself disappear. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Here goes nothing. Three, two... <laughs> What happened? Apparently the power's out. Now how are we going to finish our auditions? More importantly, how are we going to make Steve disappear? Hmm. There was only some way that we could generate enough electricity to turn on these lights. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Conveniently visit an electric animal to satisfy the plot of this video? Yep, South America, here we come. Are you sure we're in the right place? I don't see any electric animals anywhere. They're not in here, they're down there. What are they doing down there? It looks like they're dancing. Hmm, I guess all they need is some music. What are you gonna play? Ride the lightning? Electric Avenue? Andy, the budget for these videos is 38 cents and a gust of wind. What? We can't afford those songs. So what are you gonna play? Wait a second. Soggy gave me a cassette of him singing that electric song. Let's try that. You cannot smell it. He's electric. Can you guys keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. What? What is that? Huh. It's an electric eel. Electric what now? An electric eel. They'd be the perfect animal to bring back electricity to the talent show. That thing makes electricity? No way! I can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Here, stick your hand in the water. Fine. Who's next? Not me. It's probably that little lizard over there. So, are you really an electric eel? Yep. I'm shocked. I heard of you before, but I've never actually seen one. And that's because we're not as common as you think. I am an electric eel. The technical name for the electric eel is Electrophorus, but the indigenous people of Venezuela call them Arima, meaning something that deprives you of motion. We can reach lengths up to 8 feet and weigh close to 50 pounds. That's taller than LeBron James and heavier than three bowling balls. I can be found in the freshwater lakes, streams, swamps, and murky pools of water within the Amazon River and Orinoco River in the northern part of South America where I hunt for fish and invertebrates such as shrimp and occasionally hunt amphibians and small mammals. I'm also nocturnal, meaning I rest during the day and am active at night. Electric eels also have poor vision. To catch my prey, I use electricity. But that's not the only reason I use it. Another reason I use electricity is for self-defense. That way, if another animal attacks, I can scare them away with a zap. Electrical eels use electricity to help them navigate the murky waters of their habitat. They use low voltage electric discharges to help them sense their surroundings and locate objects or other animals. These discharges also play a role in communication with other eels. Hey, Jeff, do you want to go to the movies later? Ooh, I eely, eely, eely want to go. All right, what do you want to see? There's that new one with Samuel Eel Jackson. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, how many eel puns do you think we could squeeze into this video? Mmm... Eleven. What? These interesting creatures have been seen jumping out of water to attack their prey. 
You see, when an electric eel is underwater and delivers a shock, the electricity is more spread out and less intense. But by jumping out of the water, the eel minimizes its contact with the water and can deliver a more concentrated shock. But even though I use electricity to protect myself, I have no natural predators in my habitat. This means that I am an apex predator. Where am I? South America. We just met an electric eel. I'm sorry, did you say an electric eel? That sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Well, it's true. Let me just splash some water on my face and I'll check. Now, where were we? Wait a second. If you shock anything you touch, how am I gonna get you back to the talent show? Well, that's not exactly how it works. Well, how does it work? Let me just explain. Electric eels have special parts in their bodies that can make electricity. Like little batteries. When the eel wants to make electricity, it sends a message from its brains to these special parts. Once they get the message, these parts create an electric current, similar to how a battery works. When many of these parts work together at the same time, they produce a strong electric shock to attack its prey. But there isn't just one type of electric eel. There are actually three. All three live in South America, but give off varying levels of electricity. The strongest amount of electricity delivered by any electric eel is 800 volts. That's enough to power three refrigerators. Three refrigerators? That's more than enough electricity that we need. Come on, let's get back to the talent show before the triad's at. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Oh, the battery on the boat. It's dead. If only there was some way we could get some electricity to jump it. Wait a second. What? You could shock the boat. Quick, give me a little jolt of electricity to get this boat going. Yeah, I don't know if I should. Come on. No, it could hurt you and... Oh, were you scared? No, I just... Oh, I love scared of cat. You need some milk? What? No, I'm not a... No, Max Scarpa, Katty, Katty, Kat, who widow? Yes! Mommy! Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Five hours later... Hit it! You cannot smell it, it's electric. Definitely can't smell it, he's electric. Hard milk and like a fell down the well and it wasn't that bad and I drove to my dad. The who's got the boogie? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like every video of mine, there's a super secret hidden coupon code in it. <laughs> Try to find it. This one's nearly impossible to find. But if you do, you can use it to get money off on my shirts and pillows and stuff. Now, on to thanking my patrons on Patreon. And if you want your name read in my videos, well, just check out patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo and you can sign up and get your name read too. Special thanks to Jude and Asher Kelly, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Rebecca Beanie, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Ethan LaFlamme, Jason the Kid Parker, Sam B and his mom from Tennessee, Layla Delgado, Connor Pendergrass, Evelyn Kuhn, The Puffin Boys, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Jonah Joyce, Alexander, Julian and David, Gavin and Ian Ashte, Virginia and Harrison Way, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Stephen McPhee, Ada S, Sammy Osif, Gavin Meidel, Anna Axel, Gregory Shaw, Lava Liam, Evan Lee, Jack Hartzler, Penny and Liam Drury, Connor and Emma B, Max and Kaz, Toothless and Light Fury, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Luke Raposa, Sam and Eddie from London, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Erickson and Alexander L, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Lawrence from Canada, Lennon, McCotton and Jones, Paige, Avalon and Cash, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Owen, Picklesimer, William and Joe, Xavier Freeze, 
Aria Caudry, Oshi, Wesley C., George, George Monkey, Summers, Connor Lecoque and Family, Asher Evans, Un Schumann, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Zane and Asher Davis, Max C., Bodie Turner, Roman and Mars, Ben and Ollie, Liam and Evelina, Charlie Stone, Lucas Willette and Family, Silas M., Burning Wick, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, CL and Django Henry, Jack and his awesome dad, Kuchan115, John Michael M. and Charlie M., Jasper Soros Rex, Jonathan George Chesleton Kent, JJ Schmidt, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Jackson Bear Welch, Andrea Clark, Lainey, Maddie, and Henry, Laser Rosen, and Connor Higgins. Do you want to get your name in video too? We well, should, because then I can read it. Then visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, lots of stuff. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys. You cannot smell it, he's electric. Definitely can't smell it, he's electric. Definitely can't smell it, he's electric. Fell down the well and it wasn't that bad and I driven by dad. Who's got the boogie?